I was in Sephora minding my own business, and this happened. Oh, there's more. Here it is. Yeah, I got it all on tape. Oh, she bite him. Oh, she bite me, bitch. Oh. And in true Karenicity form, she plays the victim. Here it is. The last part, part three. I got the key. Obviously, the person that took this recording is a professional narrator. Uh, I really enjoyed the narration here. Let's go back to the to the hardcore criminal activity. There were multiple instances. Let's go to the graphic. She was biting the security officer, biting. I mean, that's a real bite, okay? Um, there was another element here that I thought was interesting. We got the B-roll of the um, of the gentleman who responded a little late. So let's go to that. B roll of the gentleman who responded a little late. Okay. You see, that's a dedicated security officer. Okay. <laughs> now he struggled to get back up, but damn it, he went on that ground with no hesitation. All right. Um, obviously, this is a criminal incident. Uh, the Karen here has significant Karenicity inside of her. Uh, not only did she think she could uh, literally destroy the property, but also bite the security officer who was trying to temporarily restrain her from her action. Uh, David, thoughts? I, I thought the police, I thought the security were remarkably restrained. <laughs> right. I, mean, I just sort of wonder if this hadn't been a short white woman, but supposed to have been a larger African American who decided to start biting. I just think that that mm -hmm. security guy would have whipped out a taser or a gun or something a lot faster. Um, and so, you know, this woman should consider herself lucky. And and kudos to the person who recorded this. Everybody should keep their cameras rolling because it's not only for the Karenicity's safety, it's also for the safety of the officers and the safety of everybody involved. We get a clear picture about what happened. That's right. And obviously, the picture could not be clearer here.